What's up everybody, welcome back to that last day on Earth survival on my main account. Now I'm not sure if I showed this on camera yet, but I started using a bit of the extra steel to upgrade the external walls. And I've got a little ways around, where are we up to? Here. So up to there now. And if I can zoom out. So yeah, this is all of our steel base and working on eventually, probably, upgrading that all the way around as well. However, that is going to take a very long time unless they add the builders pack back into the game again. But I have actually got a nice free storage room now because I've moved all my chests out here. So that's nice. Right, and I think basically what I wanted to cover this video was just the Halloween update. So if I can run into this box quickly. Here we go. First up, they added a few cosmetic items. This is one of them. Pumpkin head. Seems to remove your facial features. Either that or I just have a massive forehead. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. It removes your hair from that side of the head. Okay. Yeah, when you're wearing the pumpkin, you have no hair. You can just see it on the side there. Cool. Well, that's a bit weird. Anyway, each to their own, I guess. Right. And they've added in these things again, which were in the last Halloween update, and I think there may be an eyeball there. Perfect. Right, I want to grab a couple melee weapons quickly. I think I've got some machetes. There they are. And let's do that. And, oh, you know what? I should get some bandages. I don't think two cans of beans will be quite enough. Probably would be, but just in case. There we are. Perfect. Right then. Let's head over to first off the pumpkin field. I know everyone else has covered all this stuff already, but I've been working constantly for the last few days and I've finally gotten a day off. And they actually asked me to come in today, but I said no because I want to relax. And there's an airdrop going on as well. Might go to that in a bit. Right, let's go over to the pumpkin field first. 29 minutes on the airdrop. Okay. Alright then. So, I believe the pumpkin field wasn't in the update before, like last year. I wasn't really playing around Halloween then, so I'm not entirely sure. But here we are, you get to the pumpkin field, you've got these two people standing here that never seem to move. And you can trade in 35 teeth for an energy drink, 20 eyeballs for a pumpkin helmet, and 3 brains for a scythe, scythe, whatever you call it. So there we go, that is my first scythe, because I've done this event three times now. So you get loads of these spawning, I think they all give a light bulb and a... Oh, I didn't know it made the noise. This is my first time doing it with sound on. So the jack o lantern actually makes noise. Oh, and... I love the knife. The knife? I love the knife stuck in their deck. I guess that's more of a dagger at this point, isn't it? Yeah. There we are. Almost got enough to get an energy drink. So, yes, yeah, the energy drink that's 25 of the teeth, I think. I could be completely wrong. I honestly can't remember, even though I was looking at it three seconds ago. Hold it. I have got my meds in the wrong slot, so I can't actually use them. There we go. Ah, oh, they broke my helmet. I guess it was about to break. And yeah, let's get a nice little cackle again. It's such a weird laugh. Like, it's not even specifically creepy, it's just weird. Now, we do see the witch at this event. We see her right at the end after we kill everything else. And she can still spawn some zombies in around her. Is that all of them? Yes, that is. So we are going to need to actually get a gun to kill the witch with. Ah, damn. Right, could I grab a... Shotgun, that'll do. Right. Oh yeah, another thing they added is the ritual book here. And I've been working away for it gradually, but this is how we get the Halloween pattern. And anyone that's been in my channel for an extended period of time knows that I really, really want the Halloween pattern. That's what I want more than any others. And we've got 10 days, 11 hours to complete some tasks to try and get it. So I'm gonna be doing my best to get it. I'm gonna try and not purchase the pack because I'm trying to save money at the moment 
But, ooh, that does give me two C4 as well, which would be nice. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Yeah. And I also might do a stream tonight. So today is Sunday the 28th. I might do a stream. Might not. I'll have to wait and see. Come on, all you can die. There you go, it's bandage up quickly. Wish my bandages actually did more. Cause I think I've only got 5% increase on bandages. Yeah, bandage heals me by 41, I think. There we go. And we got, what have we got here? Uh, another pile of bags. I think these are the same bags that you get in the farm, aren't they? So is the tractor, actually. I guess this is a farm as well. I'll take the phone. Here we go. Now we've got the big swarm of them coming. So I probably should have been recording this earlier, but I was doing the bunker floor 3 on hard mode to get a floppy disk. And I found a giant red turkey in the bunker. And for some reason, the turkey gave teeth and brains. Which didn't make any sense to me, because last time I checked, turkeys don't actually have teeth. And nor do they have human brains. But, oh well. There we are. So, there you go. Two modded machetes is just not enough for the event, if anyone was wondering. So, what are we up to, though? Oh, we've got quite a bit of them. Ah, actually dying. Hmm. Daily beans? Thank you. Oof, that got quite close there. There's such a lag on the sound there. Oh wait, did I open this? I'm not sure. No, I didn't. See, it shoots and then you get the sound afterwards. I swear it's not supposed to be a gap quite that long. <laughs> oh, poor zombie. Right, and here is the witch. The high witch. Right. She does have an attack that does a lot of damage. But she's dead. Now, unfortunately, this witch doesn't drop the head. Oh, and something you can do. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe that you can just... There we go, she drops a brain. I believe you can just let the witch chase her around and scream every so often so that she'll keep summoning in her little minions and you can get a few more of the ticket things. But don't think it'll be worth it. You can do it if you really want to get the energy drinks, I suppose. Right, and that's all for today. Okay then, let's get one of these and two of those helmets. Now, unfortunately, disappears soon after the holiday is over. It, The helmet just disappears at the end of the event, which I think is a complete waste. What's the point in adding in these cool custom items? If they're just going to remove them. Right, let's um, run back to my base. Got to grab a couple things from there before heading up to the Katarina's Cemetery up there. So, another thing that they added in is this table here. Which is the ritual bench. And as you can see, you use this to make gravestones. I have already made up three gravestones, I believe. Thought I had at least. Okay, you can take some more of them. Hmm. Oh yeah, they were in here. There we go, got three of those gravestones. I... Need a random box so I can chuck stuff. Hmm. Can all the... Yeah, I think most of this can fit in my truck. Uh, phone can go there. You know what, let's set another stack of phones going. Get a few more electronic circuits. Why not? And I'm dying of thirst. Okay, right. Water, 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 water. Should be over here. There we are. Right, and what's my... Okay, so that is not going to be coming along anytime soon. 130, 150, so that's what? 270. I can go to raid. I have got a floppy disk so I can get C4. But I'm saving that for later on. I want to see if I can do a raid on stream. And that can go in there. Perfect. Right, and oops, I need to take those with me. Grab them. And off we go over to the cemetery. 
I have no idea what happens over here, I just know that I needed to make some gravestones. Right. Katarina's Cemetery. Oh no, oh it's Katrina's Cemetery. I thought it was Katarina's, no it's Katrina's. Wow, I am a pleb. Here we go. This is quite a nice little model. Now I've been told there's a nice little ins in uh, inscription on one of the gravestones. So we'll see if I can find it. Just want to check this is actually recording, right? Yeah, good. Not streaming. Okay. Right. So here we go. Place a gravestone made on the ritual bench. So we stick gravestones. Pay haunt pay honors to all the dead from the cemetery, and then I will reward you. Cool. Yeah, so here. I'm not sure if you can read that. Let me... Ooh, I can actually zoom in, can't I? Ooh. Damn, it's dark down here. <laughs> I love that. And now I've actually lost the side, so I can't zoom out again. Hang on. Need to have the button to grab. Extremely professional of me. Just lying in the window up again. No, can I... Too much. Too much. I can't grab the bottom corner. There we go. And can I click that back in? Eh, close enough. There we go. So, right, that box is locked. So what we have to do is decorate the gravestones, and that gets us points. Let's do. That's three. Now. Right. Okay. So there is six gravestones, and yeah, there's one, two, three more to go. Right. A little bit concerning how someone's been dug up from there. Was that Katrina that's been dug out? Hmm. I wonder if the ritual book has any notes in it. Ah, uh. oh, note number three. We honor the day of the dead, all saints day. Our righteous father, Jord, will tell us which souls are sick. Thousands thousands may find peace on this day. We will make gravestones so none will be buried in unmarked graves like Anne, Mark's wife. Like Annie, Mark's wife. And Nathan. And the redhead guy. The tattooed one. <laughs> Whatever his name was. Uh, I love when they put the devs put little bits like that into the game. Right, now, I haven't got the stuff to make any more gravestones, so I am going to be a bit of a pain and actually just end the video here. So sorry it's a bit brief and I haven't showed you the loot you can get from it. I'll find a screenshot of the loot I've got from the six splendid gravestones and put it on the screen now. There you are. See it's not that amazing loot so I'm not really missing out on much. I might try and complete it all. Might not. I probably will try. Thanks for watching people. Goodbye.